Hello, I'm Richard Vobes, the bald explorer, out on another walk. And I'm joined by the lovely... Julia Hartley. Hello, Julia. Hello, Richard. How are you? Not too bad, thank you. It's a bit of a cold, wet, not wet, but miserable but it uh, is, day. It is a cold, day. dull day. We are in Fishbourne in West Sussex, close to Chichester. And we've come down to, well, we've come down Mill Road, mm-hmm. um, next to the Mill Pond. Yeah. And... I don't know if you can see in the background there, we have lots of ducks and a couple of swan. Well, mm. they've just swanned off. Actually, there were some swans here, but they have oh, gone. Over there now. <laughs> um, oh yeah, that's it. Realise right. we're not going to feed them. But look how clear it is. It is very clear. I wonder if there's fish in the pond. There must be, probably. I should imagine there are. I mean, it's, it looks like such a healthy pond. And um, we've got this wonderful weeping willow that unfortunately is uh well because it's winter it's not in leaf Uh, but uh, i imagine that looks absolutely amazing when it's uh, in full color looks rather lovely as it is it is yeah yeah. with with all its its curtain of leaves it'd be really beautiful beautiful. and then in front of us we have the, the rest of the actual pond and behind there's a very nice thatched cottage yeah which um it happens actually, to be up for sale. It is up for sale, yeah. Uh, have you got a few million? <laughs> I wish. Yeah, have a look at this. That is gorgeous. It's a wee bit ramshackle, but oh my gosh, it's I lovely, like ramshackle, it? though. I like that different types of, of infill of um, brick. Look at the crack there. Yeah. Well, I wonder I wonder how much that is going for. That, to me, have to look that one up. is my ideal type of house Mm. apart from that awful concrete around that wall (laughs) which um, is a real spoiler but that can be sorted in some way i guess so anyway (laughs) um so we are going to take a little stroll along the footpath now there's two footpaths well and i don't know which way to go i think we should at least pop a little way up that one okay because there were some interesting sounds coming from over there right so this way is going past, as you can see, these reeds and the mill pond and the ducks. And in the uh, background, some houses. I wonder where the old mill was. That would be worth trying to find. Well. I'm heading after you, Julia, along this very narrow little path, past what must be oh, the sluice gate. gate. Let's have a look down here. There it goes. I notice um, they've chained up the wheel here so that you can't inadvertently shut off the water. Yes. Not that, uh, not that we, we, we would do that, of course. Yes, we're nice people, but I imagine some people would. So presumably the other side of here is the mill run. And we can't see over. <laughs> Julia's jumping. Oh, and that, must, that building must be the old mill house then that's been converted into flats by the looks of things. Not as inspiring as one might have thought. Hey ho. But this looks like a nice little stroll, doesn't it? It does. We're going to go into some reeds. Wow, very tall grass. Now, I don't know anything about Fishbourne. I know that there is the Roman um, palace there. The, yeah, the Fishbourne's Roman palace. I know that much. Um, but other than that, I don't, don't know anything else. This is rather lovely. It is, isn't it? This lush going through this very tall grass. The grass must be about six or seven foot. I'll let you go across this bridge first. And look at that lovely little weavy way through, little streamette. I don't know if streamette is actually the, the right term, but um, it's amazing. It is awesome. What do you think? This is lovely. It's lovely. <laughs> this is a very nice little path. It's quite um, surreal, actually, being. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, Cause, yeah. Cause it, we're mean, dwarfed, it's aren't grasses, we? Isn't it? Yes. Uh, I, I wonder what they use this grass for. I mean, it must be grown for a purpose Look. other than just it's wild. It, it's fenced off to stop us from coming in. Actually, just through here, if I raise up the camera a bit, hopefully you can see there's the little inlet that comes down um, and I guess goes down towards the the harbours. Mm. 
another bridge here. Oh, we'll see more of the, the stream because this is the area where Bosham is very close by. Chichester Yacht Basin is here. There's a whole load of these inlets that come around on this um, part just of, uh, south of Chichester. Here we go. A lot of wildlife. This must be some wildlife reserve, I'm guessing. Yeah. Fastish flowing water. Again, very, very clear. And very, very clear. I'm loving it. It is beautiful. Now, the thing is, this is exactly one of those reasons what I think the Bald Explorer is quite good at, is you stop off somewhere, I had not expected this in any way, mm. and here we are, and, and I'm just loving it. You did well on this, uh, on this direction. We could have gone the other direction and who knows what we would have found. Who knows? It's a bit squelchy here. Oh. It's like black stuff on Black there. mud down there. Okay, Another okay. bridge and uh, a signpost to give us an, op an option of direction. Do you know, something has just occurred to me. I wonder if the, the clearness and clarity of the water is anything to do with all these long grasses. Oh taking out some of the impurities possibly yeah I mean I know there's something along the lines of um, putting putting um, is it hay or straw or barley into your pond to to help against algae and things like that oh right yeah this this is amazing lovely oh lovely oak over there sentinel in the middle of the field as many do yes look at that and then here, by the looks of things, a hawthorn or a blackthorn. Oh no, it's uh, it's got um, oh, those berries. Oh, maybe it is hawthorn, is it? Hmm. I don't actually know. We're in the winter, but it's uh, and and so it's not always as easy to identify, which is a, a nuisance. But it's covered in lots of lichen, beautiful yellow lichens, which we do like to see. Oh. Afternoon. Shall we carry on? Let's. To our left, you get another view of this. Oh, there's the mill house. Look beyond. Oh, yes. Yes, that's the mill. Yes, definitely. Right in the distance there. Try and get the a red picture brick building. later on, yeah. And this should take us down to, it looks like there's water up ahead, the actual inlets um, or water? the basin. Not water here. Yeah, the sea. <laughs> well, when I say the sea, that the uh, the the um, what did I just use the word? The basin. Yes, at least the fresh water meeting salt water. Yes. Yes, I'm I'm loving this. This is definitely this is a, definitely some sort of thorn. Oh. Whether it's blackthorn or or um, oh, yeah. hawthorn, I'm not sure. But here we go. Suddenly it opens up, and you get this wide vista. And this should take us down to the mud flats. And I believe that right down there in the distance is Bosom, with Bosom Church. I have done a video about Bosom with Mr. Snow. You may be interested to have a, a little look at. But this is gorgeous. Isn't it? Sadly, it's a grey day. A couple of teasels there. I know what teasels <laughs> are now. There yeah. they are. Yeah. Birds out on the water there. Yes, so if you're a birder <laughs> and you're into that sort of thing with your... Oh look at those! Taking off. of seagulls, gulls or something. Wow! They are amazing, incredible view. Unfortunately, um, I haven't got my long lens on. Marshy grasses down there. All these little watery ponds. Love to go down and explore and see what kind of life is in those so there we go that's what you should do stop the car somewhere where you don't know and you've never been to before and just have a little look see and have a nosy because it i've just i wasn't quite sure what to expect at fishbourne i didn't expect what we've seen i knew that we'd come down to the basin hopefully and see the the open um flats because i've been sort of in this area but i didn't expect all that long grass no so no. Uh, if you're in this way it's worth stopping and having a look. Thank you, Julia. No, thank you. Well, we're going to carry on with our little stroll, but that's all we've got time for on the video. So thanks for watching. And goodbye for now. And goodbye for now. Right. <laughs>